Hey everyone, it's Love Angel again, and I'm back with another episode of Commander Review. Today I'm going to discuss one of the most important commanders of game who recently got her main hand, and that is no one else but Commander Reet. Rhea is an epic infantry commander that is available with normal packs in shop. You can also obtain her from Summer Festival or the Recruitment Pass. Even though she is an infantry commander, she comes with both infantry and cavalry attack and she isn't shy about it. She adds up to 90% to each when Awakened which is up from the original 40% for just having her in gold quality. This is one of the highest stats a commander can give to a troop type. She also adds to total health from 15% in gold quality to 41% when fully awakened. Amazing stats for infantry cavalry formation, for sure. Her awakening skill comes with two main parts. The first part is a general effect that she can cast bleed every time anyone casts a crit. So she casts bleed regularly when aligned with crit commander. The second part is that she also casts crit herself. After a few times troop do normal attack, she casts a crit which means her second skill is dependent on normal attack frequency. All these benefits come with a self-nerf, and that is that she silences herself. So let's review the terminology of this skill to understand what is she doing better. So first is bleed. Bleed means dealing 20% of the column damage against the bleeding target each second for five seconds. This means each instance of bleed sums up to 100% column damage after 5 seconds or basically one extra troop attack. Crit is also a simple multiplier of damage that applies on normal troop attack. So after a few normal attacks, Rhea increases one normal attack damage by multiplying it on a crit coefficient. And each time she or anyone else causes a crit to happen, she casts one bleed. You can see crit and bleed affecting in a battle report. Silence is also referred to a state in which commanders won't be able to cast their active army skill active army skill is also known as commander damage. With these being said, we can illustrate Rhea's relationships with other commanders like this. She is a fan of normal attacks Sosanara and Kravriz that increase normal attack frequency boost her skills. She also needs crit commanders like Jon Snow and Meryl to cast crit so she can activate bleed. Since she is main source of casting bleed, she will have a huge effect on Commander Darren and boosting his damage. What is clear is that the Disarm Trio, or Marguerite, Daenerys, and Cersei counter her because both bleed and crit will be neglected when troops are disarmed. Because she silences herself and casts no active army skill, using her alongside the female synergy is a lead down at this state. It's also needless to say that she can't be used alongside Jaime because she is dependent on normal attacks and casts crit and bleed, and Jaime turns normal attack to weakness attack, so it triggers her crit less. Also, weakness attacks can't benefit from crit bonus. Her main hand, Enchanting Soul, that was released recently, have three effects on her awakening. They can decrease the number of normal attacks needed for casting crit from the original 20 to 10, and they can improve the crit multiplier from 120% to 150%. At four star, this main hand has one extra effect, and that is removing the self-silence part of her awakening, so she will start casting active army skill if she is not silenced by someone else. Now, even though this won't mean much for when she is used in crit and bleed setup because Sonara silences everyone anyway, but it can create new potentials for her and for collaboration of the crit and bleed setup and the female synergy. 
The change that this main hand does for her relations is that she will be able to be used alongside female synergy in better conditions. To understand this, I need to categorize commanders in four separate classes when it comes to their relationship with the female synergy. The highest category is of course the female commanders that synergize on female synergy. That includes most of the female commanders as you can see. The second category is for female commanders that don't synergize with the female synergy but will not harm it and can be boosted by Leela Mormont still and have extra active army skills casted. The third class is for males that can still cast active army skill. Some of the skills in female synergy are not relied on the caster being female and male active army skills can also trigger them even though they don't benefit from the frequency boost. The last category is for silenced commanders that can't cast active army skill. This of course contains Sonara and Sandor and all commanders that are used alongside Sonara. Rhea without main hand is also in this fourth category, but when she has her main hand at four star and if she is not used alongside Sonara, she goes two classes higher to be along the group of females that don't have synergizing awakening skills with this synergy. Regardless, her best partners in crime are Sonara for boosting infantry and normal attacks frequency and the crit commanders, and she is better used alongside Joan Snow and Darren if you're using them no matter what. Her best counters are the Disarm Trio, Cersei Daenerys, and Margaery. The best enemy to use her against is Jaime and the weakness setup in general as well because the crit and bleed is an essential counter to heal and weakness setup in general, and she is a very important part of this setup. Talking about her state in battle, we can't ignore her amazing stats in Tavern either. She has three starting stars in finance, but also four stars in combat and three stars in leadership. She also can obtain one more star for each by awakening to two-star commander. Rhea's strategy skill is practically a damage booster for normal troop attacks and she is magnificent with infantry army with her temporarily attack boost. Her guard skills are basically making her a support silencer commander which is not much useful against rebel leaders but is great in general for weirwood and training ground. In conclusion, she is an integrant part of the crit and bleed setup and especially mastered with stats for infantry and cavalry, needless to say, again, that she can be used to make a hybrid setup with female synergy as well. Overall, she is a rank S commander without any doubt. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe before leaving and make sure to leave your questions as comments below so I can assist you with them. Have an awesome weekend, everyone. See you in next episode.